what's going on guys it's your boy jesse d123 back with another video and in today's video we're going to be bringing you guys the top five best budget center fielders that are in mlb the show 21 drop a like if you guys are excited man if you guys have not clicked that subscribe button yet i highly encourage you guys to do so i'm on the road to 1500 subs please be, please be the cool guy or girl that helps us get there i really appreciate it shout out to all my new subs man if you guys like daily mlb the show content in your inbox I'm gonna be your guy, man. We haven't uh, we haven't not stopped uploading since the game dropped. Trust me, we're not gonna stop. But without further ado, guys, let's get right into the video. So obviously, Mike Trout, he ain't a budget. And if you guys haven't noticed, if you guys been watching the videos for a while, you guys always see like a blue light, my light strip. It went out. I don't know what's up. I gotta try to see what's up with that, fix that. But bear with me, guys. It's a little dark, but you guys are here for the content. So let's get right into it. So Mike Trout, obviously not. First one on the list, he's probably not going to be the most highly requested or everybody hates him because he's an Astro, but he moved to the Blue Jays, but he is a solid center fielder, bro. Is the gold 84 George Springer. He does have 70 contact on both sides with 80 power on both sides, which makes him pretty, pretty good. 71 vision as well. His defense isn't bad as well. 75 fielding, 69 armor, which the armor is a little better, but it's his live series card. And he, and he does have 77 reaction. That's going to help him out in um, center field uh, while defensively. And he does have 70 fielding, which, which is pretty decent, not going to lie. So overall, George Springer is a solid option. Does not break the bank. He goes for 1,189 to 1,573 stubs at the time of this recording. Um, overall, does not break the bank, man. And I think he's a very good choice. So we're going to move on to the second one. How could we not have the best budget center fielders and not have my boy? I think I worded that wrong. What I'm trying to say is, if I'm mentioning center fielders, the best budget ones, Ramon Lariano better be in it. So Ramon Lariano, yes, he's in it. The 83 goal. If you guys don't know about this card, well, welcome. Because this guy defensively is an assassin. You guys see the defense. 85 fielding with a 99 arm, 99 accuracy, and 89 reaction with 65 speed. This guy is going to hold it down out there for you guys. Trust me, I've used him. I'm using him in the vet as we speak right now. And look, he has an inside edge boost. He does have um, minimal contact against righties, but the inside edge boost gives him to, uh, what is that, 48, 58, 61. And he has 86 contact against lefties. Now, his power against righties, inside edge is a 13, so he's at 83 pop versus righties with 75 against lefties with the 55 vision. Honestly, Ramon Lariano, he's very, very good. I've, I love his card, and he doesn't break the bank 1,600 to 1,900, a little more than Springer. Um, but, hey, you get what you pay for, man. He has a little bit more pop than Springer, inside edge-wise, and the defensively, he's a, an assassin. So consider picking up my boy Ramon Mariano. Next on the list is going to be the 82 gold Dylan Carlson. Now, you guys see the price. That's not budget, obviously. But you guys get this guy in um, the moment set, April 5th through April 11th. More than likely, you guys want him, so you guys have him. Now, the reason why he's an assassin and he's on this list, guys, for the budget, he's a switch hitter, and he does have power against righties, guys. He does have some decent fielding, but the arm is atrocious. It's terrible. 50 arm, 74 fielding, which is nice. 88 accuracy and 76 reaction with 64 speed. So defensively, he's good. He'll get the job done. He does have 93 power against righties with 65 against lefties. 64 and 63 contact against um, righties and lefties. You guys see the stats. But like I said, what sets him apart from majority of the center fielders, other than one more that's going to be mentioned on this list, is that he's a switcher. So Dylan Carlson. He breaks the bank if you guys don't have him, but more than likely you guys have done the moments and you guys have, have this card. So don't forget about my boy Dylan Carlson. He's a savage. Next on the list is going to be Luis Robert. Probably one of the highly um, top prospects in the game right now, right now. Luis Robert. Let's take a look at him. Now, mind you, my stats are boosted by two because I have him parallel too. So he has 78 power for me and he has 80 power against lefties, which is decent. Man. He has some nice power. 56 contact against righties and 66 contact against lefties. Not too bad, but not too good either. He does have 93 fielding, which is amazing. With 65 arm, I wish he had a higher arm, but it's his live series card. He'll probably get a better card later on in the year, maybe. He does have 46, uh, um, what is that, accuracy though. And he has 95 reaction. So he, him, just like um, Luriano, they're going to hold it down out there in center field. They're probably going to get to every damn ball. And he does have 90 speed to go along with that. So that's just going to help out a ton. If you guys are looking for a defensive juggernaut, this guy and Ramon Lariano are probably the best two on the list. Um, and he doesn't break the bank either, man. He goes for 1,000 to 1,100 stubs. So consider looking at my boy Luis Robert. He's a decent option. And the last guy on this list is going to be the silver Kyle Lewis. I know what you guys are thinking. Jesse, this man has a 42 version. Why would you use the silver? 
we'll get into that later let's just go over the silver kyle lewis you guys see he does not break the bank 348 steps to 202 so he's a very good car to use um his stats are amazing as well man i use him in center field for the silver event and he did everything i needed him to do and then some. he was hitting bombs for me um he defensively he was making all the plays you guys see he has he has an inside edge plus three to the power versus righties which means that's at 80 and contact versus righties which means that's at 71 he has 65 contact against lefties but 83 power against lefties so for a silver card guys this card is really really good 74 fielding 157 arm which a lot of these guys don't have the best arm let's be real 56 accuracy with 75 reaction so that 74 fielding with the 75 reaction with the 74 speed he will get the job done out there in center field now we're going to jump into the 42 cards um right now but um i want to give you guys a couple notables so a couple notables that should be um on the list but i was like you know what that the top five are better how can i not mention my boy kevin kiermaier now don't ignore the hitting stats please just focus on the defensive stats for this card 99 fielding 92 arm 99 accuracy 99 reaction with 91 speed this guy he's gonna hold it down for you defensively now we can talk about the freaking offense because it's terrible but defensively he's gonna hold it down so Kevin Kiermaier was a nice notable mention another nice notable mention is gonna be Trent Grissom obviously he has a 42 version card as well we'll go over that go over that after this um but he has a gold 81 pretty nice as well man 91 fielding with 69 arm 93 reaction with 87 speed he's gonna hold it down as well man just like um a lot of these center fielders on the list they have good fielding um majority of them do actually from the ones i named he does have a lot of power against righties well 60 uh, excuse me 78 power against righties 58 against lefties his contact is a little subpar but it's a little better when it comes to the 42 version and the last guy in the notable list is going to be the gold 83 could tell Marte. he doesn't break the bank 1400 to 1100 stubs he is this other switch hitter that i was talking about earlier along with dylan carlson um he does have a 42 version of the car so we'll go over that again like i said after this he has 77 fielding 80 reaction 62 speed um he does have 97 contact against righties and 74 con and 74 power against lefties did i say lefties i don't know but you guys see the stats right there um so yeah so let's hop into the 42 version of some of these cards so like i said in previous videos um, i'm showing you guys the live series cards so you guys can get them right now and use them especially if you guys don't have the 42 versions yet but if you guys have the 42 versions yet 42 versions of trent grissom Cattell Marte, or kyle lewis use those cards so we're gonna go over Cattell Marte stats just look at this card man amazing i mean i have in parallel three so I, every stat here is boosted by three but just look at this card i'm not gonna go over it i'm just gonna let you guys look at it this card's amazing he can hold it down in center field and he's a switch hitter has decent um powers like eh, some part but the contact is where it matters and he does have 70 speed to back that up and like i said he'll get the job done defensively and then trent grissom's card i think this is probably a better card than that Cattell Marte, but Cattell Marte is a switch hitter. 96 fielding with 98 reaction with 92 speed. Defensively, he's going to hold it down, guys. And the hitting, he does pretty well as well. I know a lot of people have been telling me that he does have a glitchy swing. So take a look at Trent Grissom. And now the final 42 version card that's a center fielder is obviously Kyle Lewis. Now, honestly, if I had to choose between the 342 cards, it would go Kyle Lewis, Trent Grissom, Cattell Marte, personally. Kyle Lewis, look at that. 95 power against righties, 97 power against lefties, 89 contact against righties, 67 contact against lefties, 83 fielding with 84 reaction with 78 speed. You parallel them up twice, you'll have 80 speed. I'm telling you guys, this guy is an amazing card, especially if you guys are looking on the budget, not trying to spend too much stubs. I mean, the 42 version is free, and if you guys just want to get used to his swing, you guys seen the silver card silver card he was only going for about 200 stuff so i just thought i'd throw in the 42 cards in after just to show you guys that they're better versions of it but like i said if you guys don't have these cards yet pick up the live series versions they don't break the bank get used to their swings and then start grinding so you can get the 42 versions but yeah guys so that was the top five best budget center fielders in mlb the show 21 drop a like if you guys enjoyed man and don't forget we have one position left that is right field and we also have a bonus episode the top five best budget blank I'm gonna, I'm gonna just surprise you guys with that one so stay tuned for that um the right fielder is probably gonna be going up next week if not probably this weekend and then the bonus one if the right fielder goes out the weekend the bonus one will be released next week so stay tuned for that man um team affinity season two i'm gonna go more in depth in another video about this but i just thought i'd bring it up at the end because 
obviously we're looking at the team affinity freaking uh, season right here or team affinity program i should say i'm very excited you guys seen what they were releasing some prospects and some second half cards we'll go more into detail in another video probably the video after this one so stay tuned for that but yeah man so that's where i'm gonna end today's video drop a like if you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one it's been your boy jesse d123 and i'm out